name is Istvan Varga, and I am one of the owners of Varga's Bull Kennel, as the other owner is my daughter. I love the Sarplaninac breed since my childhood, and when I was young, I was dreaming about them a lot. When I grew up I decide that I go to Yugoslavia, and I buy the best dogs of this breed. At that time we traveled through whole Yugoslavia and finally we found the kennel of Ljubomir, and we bought three world winner dogs. Since then we have been breeding this fantastic breed, the Sarplaninac, the so-called Yugoslavian wolf killer. Presently, we are the most successful kennel of this breed of the world, we have 23 world winner dogs and 20 European winners, which has never happened before. We cannot count the number of our Serbian results, and we received state awards from both the Serbian and Macedonian state. The Sarplaninac breed's name is originating from the Sar Mountains, they are said to be the crown jewels of this region. They were used for guarding and protecting livestock and territory for hundreds of years. They had to guard everything that belonged to their owners against wolves and bears who live in this area and of course against two-legged opponents. They are a very straightforward natured dog breed on whom the owners could always count on and trust them fully. In this region the everyday life of people depended very much on their dogs. You have to know that three wolves can kill dozens of sheep within an hour and as in the Sar Mountains there are no territories where you can cultivate lands, people lived on their animals. This way the quality of their dogs deeply affected their life and the well-being of their families. This is why these people are very proud of their dogs and love them very much and always concentrated on to keep the best and most fitted ones. The character of the Sar Plananak is very unique among dogs and even among livestock guardian breeds. They are a rare breed who would never want to win over their owners and they do not want to be pack leaders among humans. As their old standard said, the Sar Plananak has to be a wild beast against strangers but humble servants to the family. A special character trait of them is that they usually protect the weak and the weaker is the subject of their attention, they protect it more. They instinctively know how to deal with children and the old members of the family. We saw several times that if one of our dogs is together with a child they are very cautious not to harm them incidentally, they rather freeze during a motion than to danger a child. For them, the family is the absolute center of the universe and they usually accept the pack ranking and do not want to change it in a family. When my daughter is asked why she loves this breed, she always answers, because they raised me. When she was a child, her mother put him on a blanket and one of our sharps sat near her. When she climbed out of the blanket, the dog pulled her back with her underpants. She was always watched and even a bird could not get into our yard. This was the task of the dog, to look after her and defend her. One of my friends who lives at the countryside in a surroundings where there was a lot of stealing asked Emmy once whether a Sarplaninac can solve his problems, and I said to him that definitely, and he bought one of my dogs. He called me back a year later and said that they do not have to lock the gates anymore because the sharp defends the territory, what is more, his 87-year-old mother has a helper as she leans on the back of the dog when they go together to the back of their yard. On this example you can understand how affectionate breed they are towards family members. This is the breed which never attacks any family members or owners. Those dogs who have even the slightest aggressive mood against any family members, like one grunt or anything, have always been deselect immediately and could not be drawn into breeding. I am usually asked to whom I recommend this breed. Surprisingly I usually answer that to everybody. For those who are first-time dog owners I recommend them because they will teach them how to behave with a dog. The Sarplaninac is an independent thinker and very intelligent. For families with kids I recommend them because they are above the average tolerant with kids and for elderly people because they protect the old ones. They are adjective dogs and they never hustle up an elderly people. In some cases our dominant dogs try each other's strength and have smaller fights. When I notice it I intervene and I immediately and personally stand between them. It has never happened with any of my dogs that they would have bitten me, even in a fight situation, I can put my hands in their mouth. So as hard they are from the one hand, so adjective and sensible on the other hand. The only situation into which I do not recommend them is a small flat, where they cannot move freely. Of course we have very interesting clients sometimes, who fell in love with the breed. One of our buyer for example is an Italian millionaire, 
who usually travels with a Porsche sports car and the dog always sits beside him on the front seat and they enjoy this friendship very much. Otherwise they move a lot, when they move along with the livestock, in average they walk and run tens of kilometers every day, they work 24 hours all day. If a stranger comes to us, they usually warn the stranger with some barks, and they look at us, how we accept this man. If they see that we are okay with him, they stay relaxed, although one of their eyes is always on the stranger. If they see that the situation turns dangerous, they attack immediately and fiercely. They are not all-time barking type of dogs, if they bark, there is always a serious reason for that. They are sincere and straightforward dogs, before they attack they usually warn the intruder. They are real pack animals. They have always protected the livestock in packs. This is why, they can get used to almost all types of animals, even to cats, if socialization starts early. There is one thing I usually do not advise for future owners, but maybe I am not correct in this opinion. Usually I do not advise to keep them together with other dog breeds as it can ruin their unique character and turn them to be a different dog. Again, maybe I am wrong, but this is my experience. This is a dog breed that was brought down from the mountains not long ago. They are not fashion dogs and not overbred presently. Thanks God, this is the reason why they are so healthy, they have such a stable nerve system and they are so undemanding. Compared to their size they eat very little, and they utilize any food source very well. When they are young, you have to be very cautious not to overfeed them with proteins, as it can ruin their joints. We know very little about any health problems, or veterinary visits, and even our 12-year-old dogs can run several kilometers and pull my bike for long distances, and they are fast and good runners. This is an above-the-average healthy breed, and an owner have to do everything to keep them this way. Some years ago I sold a young, 7 months old dog of mine to a Scandinavian buyer, and at that moment, I almost finished breeding work. I was the one, who had to take him to the airport, and I loaded him to the passage area in a cage. When I began to leave, this dog turned to me, and it seemed to me as if he was crying with tears in his eyes. This was the moment when I seriously thought over to finish breeding, but the other dogs turned me back to my path. They are very sensible dogs and in many respect they are like a honest MMA fighter, who exactly knows that he was born and trained not harm the weak, but to defend them by all means he has.